Call of Duty Black Ops Intel Guide. Uh, Intel can be picked up on any difficulty, so pick them up on the easiest. And uh, there's three Intel for every level in the game, except for one special level where there's no actual objectives. The very first Intel in the game is pretty early on in the game. Uh, after you sneak past a couple enemies stealthily, it'll be out there on some crates. The second one is shortly after you kill Castro's impersonator. When you enter this burning building, go to the right, and in this bedroom on the right is the second intel. Third intel is shortly after this zip lining part. You walk into this airplane hangar, and up on the left, on top of these stairs, is the third intel for Operation 40. Call of Duty Black Ops Intel Guide for the Vorkuta level. The first intel is when Sergei is trying to break down the door to the armory. Uh, it's right next to where Reznov is standing on the second floor of the building. The second intel is in this area after you slide under the door and Sergei, Sergei sacrifices himself to hold the door open. In the back right corner in this room is the second intel. And the third intel is before you get on the motorcycle. Do not jump on your motorcycle yet when you get to this last section. Turn around and behind Reznov, the third intel is on that little shelf in the corner. Call of Duty Black Ops Intel Guide for the Executive Order level. There are no intel on the USDD level. Uh, the first intel is on the third floor of the first building you walk into. So before you go on the roof, and play Ring Around the Rosie with a couple dudes up top. The intel is on that third floor. Second intel is in this room where you have to place the C4 to blow a hole through the wall to get inside. And it's in this back left corner, right on top of those control panels. The, rocket, no matter what. the third intel, very close to the end of the level, when you walk through all these large computer rooms, uh, you'll notice a large room on the right with a whole bunch of large computer screens along the back wall. And that's the third intel. Call of Duty Black Ops Intel Guide for the level SOG. The first intel is in this area where you pick up the rocket launchers to take out the tanks very early on in the level. It's along this back building. So when you pick up the rocket launchers to take out the tanks, just turn around and it should be right behind you. The second intel is immediately after this section when you start to run down the hill. On the left, there's going to be a couple little bunkers dug into the ground. Again, you can pick up these intel on any difficulty, so do the easiest difficulty in the game, which is recruit. And it counts for all the achievements for picking them up. Uh, the third intel is after you fight your way up the next hill in this burned out, bombed out building in this back corner. And that is the final intel for level SOG. This is right before you get in the car to drive around. Call of Duty Black Ops intel guide for the level the defector. You can pick up the intel on any difficulty, so choose the easiest difficulty. Immediately after this projector room where you talk to Reznov and pick up some files. The first room on the right will have the intel on a desk. Second intel is immediately after you run into the bottom feeder, this large tank ATV thing, I don't know what they're called. Uh, at the end of the street, this building will have the intel on a desk. And the third and final intel for the level, after blowing out the ceiling with some C4, you walk through that building, turn to the right, and this building on the right will have the third intel of the level. Call of Duty Black Ops Intel Guide for nextgenwalkthroughs.com and soon to be wikigameguides.com. So for this level, as soon as the level starts, as soon as you gain control of your character, turn around and the intel is on the desk before you even walk up that first ladder. The second intel is right after this slow motion sliding part. Kill the four dudes that are down below and immediately in front of you on the ground behind these little fences will be the first intel. 
or the second intel. Sorry. And the third intel is after this dude gets his brains blown out. I just had to put that little cutscene in there. It's because it was one of my favorite moments of the game. <laughs> his brains just get blown out of the back of his head, and then you just drop him, and he like takes out some billboards along the way. I thought that was a pretty great moment in the game. So you drop down a couple times after he gets killed. You have to take out two groups of enemies, so that's one drop. And I think there's three more. Two. Two more guys to kill. Three drops. Yes, four total drops. Turn around, and it's in this pile of trash. Call of Duty Black Ops Intel Guide for the level Project Nova. All the intel can be picked up on any difficulty, so... Do whatever difficulty you're playing on. Doesn't really matter. Uh, the first intel is in this first building that you have to enter. This is the first building that really that has the mission marker on it. You have to go upstairs and make sure that the dude you're looking for isn't upstairs. There's gonna be quite a few guys here. Kill them all. Kill all the Nazis. And in this, in the top part, in the back part of this second floor, will be the first intel of the level. There it is. The second intel, not too far after that, is you're going to see this large hangar with a large missile in it. Run to this back corner. There might be some Nazis uh, surrendering by this point in the level. And the final intel of the level is at the very end of the level when you're fighting to get off the ship and the clock is counting down and imminent death is upon you. Kill all the dudes above you, and the intel is right at the bottom of those stairs, right before that final rope. Call of Duty Black Ops intel guide for the level Victor Charlie. The first intel is when you're going all Rambo and cutting out the Adam's apples of the Vietnamese. So it's in this first hammock room. You're going to see this dude just kind of taking a siesta walk into the next room and do a little U-turn and it's there in the corner. The second intel is after you detonate the C4. Not too far after that, you're going to go through this burning village and just keep going straight and in the back left corner immediately after you detonate the C4 in this tiny little hut will be the second intel of the level. And the third intel level is when you're in these little rat tunnels, rat caves. Reznov will, uh, or Tyler Durden will start executing some dudes. And there will be one fork in the road that you can take. Go left. And as you kind of like wind around the whole area, uh, the intel will be just kind of chilling in the water along this path. Call of Duty Black Ops Intel Guide for the level crash site. As soon as the level starts, the first intel is before you even get on the first boat. Right there on that box, as soon as the level starts. That one is pretty tough to miss. Second intel, after you finish the whole boating sequence, just walk forward and it's right along the main path. Very easy to walk past and miss if you're not looking at the ground, but uh, pretty easy to miss. Or yeah, anyway. Third intel. You're walking up the wing of this crashed plane. And after you drop into the plane, drop down two little levels, and the intel is just chilling right there on the ground. Call of Duty Black Ops Guide for the level WMD. The first intel... Call of Duty Black Ops Intel Guide, I should have said that. Uh, the first intel is after the second time you zoom in from airplane mode and take control of the dudes on the ground. You walk down a short flight of steps, turn left, and it's right there on those filing cabinets. This is immediately before you place the charges on the power transformer. The second intel is 
right after the section where you have to stealthily take out a whole bunch of dudes with the crossbow. You're in this control room, stay on the upper floor, and in the back corner next to those lockers is the second intel. Third intel, it's towards the very end of the level. Immediately before the large countdown section, you're gonna see this hangar that's rigged with explosives. Before you walk into that other control room, and before the countdown timer starts ticking down, right in the main lobby of this hangar is the third intel. Call of Duty Black Ops intel guide for the level payback. So this first intel is very early on in the game. You're gonna to get to the first large cavern area. No really good way to describe it. It's on the right on some shelves. The second one is in this area where you're supposed to jump in the helicopter. Go to your right next to this tent is the second intel. Third intel. Towards the very end of the level, you're going to see the dude you've been chasing for the entire level in this large glass case. Don't run up to him yet. Towards the, on the left, on the ground level, is the third and final intel. Call of Duty Black Ops intel guide for the level Rebirth. The first intel is immediately at the beginning of the level. You're going to hatchet this dude right in the neck, turn left, and the intel is right there on the ground. Second intel is very fun to get. You have to be very quick about it. You have to run into this room. And before those doors close, the intel is on top of these monkey cages. And then if you're not fast enough about getting out of the room, the doors will close and you will die. But if you pick up the intel before you die, you're fine. It counts as picking it up. Third intel, second half of the level, when uh, you are in the gas suit, you're gonna see a building explode in front of you into fire and turn right before you walk into that building and it will be on top of a couple of stoves. Call of Duty Black Ops Intel Guide for the level Revelations. Uh, the best way to figure out where the intels are on this level is just make a note of the numbers that you see on the wall in relation to where I'm walking. So the first one, very start of the level, as soon as you get control of your character, just walk down this hall. At the first real like four-way stop, that you see, turn left. Don't follow that marker straight. Turn left at that big four on the wall. It's gonna be in this back corner in a little trash can. Oh, nope, that's the next one. That one's on top of a little vending machine. The second one, you see the one, three, two, three on top of the wall. And instead of going left towards the marker, turn right. And this one's behind a little trash can. Third and final intel, after you get in this weird kind of projector room that has pictures of Reznov everywhere, turn right, just keep following the path all the way down. This one's along the main path, just keep following the level markers. And in this room that has a bunch of TVs on the wall and a bunch of desks, it's on top of this little uh, desk on the left. Call of Duty Black Ops Intel Guide for the level Redemption. This is the last level of the game that has intel. Three more intel on this level. So as soon as you land and get control of your character and start walking around a bit, uh, run forward in this large crate on the left right before the Valkyrie rockets. You're going to see the intel kind of tucked away underneath that door of the exiting side of the crate. Second intel is after you start to walk down into the ship. You run through these locker rooms. There's normally a lot of dudes there, but I killed them all and kind of backtracked a bit to show you some perspective. You walk into this room, go around this desk, and on the other side of the desk is the intel. And the third and final intel of the game, you walk through this water flooded room that has a large map on the wall. You go up the stairs, and on the right, under this desk, is the final intel of the game. And if you've picked up all the intel at this point, you should get a nice little achievement pop up. So congratulations.